Hi, this is Paul and I'm the creator of Octane Render for Poser. Uh, this is a very quick tutorial on using the new linked dial feature that was introduced in the latest test version of the plugin. So I've got a simple scene here with um, Andy and uh, you can see I just uh, open in the viewport and it's just uh, quite a normal render there. So if I go into Andy's body I can, you can see there's just a standard Andy figure. I can go into figure, create full body morph, and I'll call it uh, visibility. And when I do that, it creates a visibility dial here, which I can adjust. Now it doesn't actually do anything to Andy at this point because um, uh, there was no morph applied there. There's other ways of getting this dial here, but this is just for the purpose of the demonstration, an easy way to do it. So now when we go into Andy and Andy's body, the opacity adjusts the amount of uh, visibility he has in the scene there. So there is a new slider called control from dial. And what that means is if you can, it, it, it lists in this checkbox all of the different dials that are in Andy's body actor. So if we leave it as use slider, then you can use the slider as you can see there. Um, however, if we go to the visibility dial here, then it will pick up um, Andy's visibility from this visibility slider here. So if we put a zero into the visibility dial, you can see he disappears. And if we increase it to 0.5, um, he's half there. And if we increase it uh, above one, uh, it, it rounds or it, it caps it at one. Uh, you can see that it goes up there. So that means if we're at frame 1, uh, we can set the visibility to 1. And if we're at frame 10, we can set the... Uh, let me move to frame 10 here. We go to frame 10 and we set the visibility to 0. Then as we move the slider, along you can see that uh, the visibility actually gets updated according to the current frame. So when we render out that animation from at uh, frame 1 he'll be fully visible and at the end of that he will be not visible at all. Another really useful uh, purpose for the um, dial linking is for emitters. So in the scene here, I've got set up, I've loaded a one-sided square just in front of Andy. Uh, for that one-sided square, I've set the material to diffuse and set the emission to black body. Uh, I've got the power set to 10,000, which will be a bit bright. I've got um, uh, under the environment, I've got the power turned off. So where the whole scene will be uh, lit from that emitter. Obviously, that's uh, way too bright. We'll just go to the other camera. And we'll turn that emitter down a little. So it's it it uh, probably should be 500, for example. All right. So um, now that emitter is set up there, uh, we can control it through this node. But we can also can we can also link the emitter to a dial. So if we select the square, which it is, and then say new master parameter. Then when we next select power in the uh, node here, we will have a master dial uh, in the list and we select that and the power of the emitter will be taken from this master dial attached uh, to the emitter itself. So for example, um, uh, we, we've got um, a power of 500 at frame 4 we can have a power of 0 at frame 1 and then as we move through the frames you'll get uh, progressively uh, brighter emitter power. So you can actually animate the amount of power that is coming off your emitters through this feature which is very very useful. Anyway I hope that helps and any questions ask me on the forums. Thanks for listening.